Oh, hello there. I'm Bilchen Akupar. In this class, I'll read to all of you. Chapter 26 of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow Ass Ah oh. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow Washington Irving Chapter 26 It is true. An old farmer who had been down to New York on a visit several years after and from him this account of the ghostly adventure was received. Brought home the intelligence that Ichabod Crane was still alive. That he had left the neighborhood partly through fear of the goblin and handspan. Wibble. And partly in mortification at having been suddenly dismissed by the heiress. That he had changed his quarters to a distant part of the country. Had kept school and studied law at the same time. Had been admitted to the bar. Turned politician. Election read. Written for the newspapers. And finally had been made a justice of the ten pound court. Brown bones. Two. Who? Shortly after his rival's disappearance conducted the women Katrina in triumph to the altar. Was observed to look exceedingly knowing whenever the story of a Chabot was related and always burst into a hearty laugh at the mention of the pumpkin, which led some to suspect that he knew more about the matter than he chose to tell. The old country wives, however, who were the vestiges of these matters, maintain to this day that Ichabod was spirited away by supernatural means, and it is a favourite story often told about the neighbourhood round the winter evening. Fair. The bridge became more than ever an object of superstitious awe, and that may be the reason why the road has been altered of late years, so as to approach the church by the border of the Mopend. The schoolhouse being deserted soon fell to decay, and was reported to be haunted by the ghost of the unfortunate pedagogue on now. Flowberry, homeward of a still summer evening has often fancied his voice at a distance, chanting a melancholy something among the tranquil solitudes of Sleepy Hollow. To be continued.